Hey, what's up? Steve Smith here from CultOfMac.com. So earlier this week, Josh posted five great Mac shortcuts, which got a ton of response. So I'm here with five more useful shortcuts. Let's get started. In Josh's video, he highlighted how to take a screenshot using Command, Shift and 3. But that meant that your entire screen is snapshot, including your dock and menu bar. But using Command, Shift and 4, you can take a screenshot with selection. Once you've hit those three keys, this crosshairs will appear. Then you simply click and drag across and you can select whatever part of the screen you want to screenshot. It's that easy. As in a little addition, you can also hold space which takes a window screenshot. An easy way to get a screenshot of Safari or Twitter without getting things in like the address bar. Once you've hit those four keys, a little camera will appear, click your mouse and there you have it, a screenshot of your window. But what's a quicker way to empty your trash when it's full of those screenshots I hear you ask? Simple. Use Command, Shift and Delete. It'll empty your trash from any screen a lot quicker and easier. Closing an application on the Mac requires you to either right click on its icon or going to the top menu bar and quitting there. Save yourself a few seconds by hitting Command and Q and it works with every single application. It only saves you a few seconds, but every little helps. Within web browsers like Safari and Chrome, it's already a doddle to open new tabs. But hitting Command and T is an even easier way, just don't get carried away with it. Now this is one of my favourite shortcuts. There's a lot of times where I'm using my Mac as a speaker and I don't necessarily want the screen on. And turning the brightness down doesn't quite do it unless I'm on my MacBook. Well, using Control, Shift and Eject, I can turn my screen to sleep and leave the music playing all night long. It's an easier way to turn the screen off than just waiting for the timer to kick in. Also, last but not least, don't forget that you can make your own shortcuts. Maybe the standard one isn't easy enough for you to remember. Well, just go to your system preferences, the keyboard, and hit shortcuts. Under app shortcuts, you can create your own individual key combination for whatever app that you wish. And it's as simple as that. So there you have it, five more great shortcuts to use on your Mac. But let us know in the comments section down below if you've got any more tips that we've not covered yet. The last video had some great comments that actually helped out with this video. Also, Josh is back next Friday with another great news roundup, so make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. I'll see you next time.